In this video, I'm going to be breaking down why the split close offense is one of the best offenses in Madden and how you can learn to basically take the underneath with a lot of consistency. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they could possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. It is completely free to subscribe, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with all of the latest tips and strategies going on right here at the channel. Now again, our channel is designed to help you become a better player. And so in today's video, we're talking about the New England Patriots playbook and specifically one of the plays that we're going to be breaking down or the formation rather is going to be the split close pass. And so if you have not already gotten my New England Patriots offensive guide, I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description of this video. That guide covers over 400 pages of material breaking down several different formations like the split close, the trips tied in, the U trips, as well as some of the more um, uh, slept on formations from the New England Patriots playbook. So if you want to get that, that is in the description. You can get that entire guide, uh, I believe for just $20 right now. And the play that we're going to be going over in today's video is the play um, halfback wheel. As you can see right here, this is the play we're going to be going over. And this is a very, very simple concept. You don't have to be on a specific hash uh, to run this, but as a general rule of thumb, you want to um, be on the left hash when running this offense, or if you're on the right hash, just flip the play, you could do that. But this is just a very simple passing concept. There's really nothing too crazy to it. Uh, what you're going to see is I'm gonna smart route the X receiver. This is something that I think that people really, really forget to do whenever they're running this formation. Not very many people talk about the importance of it. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just simply smart route that X receiver right there. I'm gonna smart route that square receiver. So you've smart routed those two players. And then what we're going to do is we're simply going to take that triangle receiver on this play, and we are going to put him on a little option route, as you can see right there. And then the last little step here is we're going to take that circle receiver, uh, which is Lazard right here, and we are just going to uh, put him on a little hitch route, just like this right here, just kind of a simple little underneath pattern. And what's gonna happen is if it is man-to-man -man coverage, you're going to see a natural man switch. And as you're going to see, um, that running back Jamal Williams, that R1 receiver will be wide open to the flat. So you have your backs and one of the beauties of the split close is that the running backs are on both sides of the field and so you can't be pressed. So if they're running man-to-man -man coverage, they really can't have a lot of success doing that because you have running backs that are gonna be able to be unbumpable and they're gonna be able to get open on both sides of the field. Your option route is gonna get open as well as your other route, um, as well as your other little quick flat route to the R1 receiver. And then the other thing that you have is you have this nice little skinny post over the middle of the field. So if they're running something like um, man coverage and basically what they're trying to do is they're trying to get some underneath coverages, some underneath zones and things like that on the field, if they're trying to do that, then that is where the skinny post will really become handy. That's why you want your best route runner to play in that position because if there's nobody deep over the middle of the field, you are going to be able to beat the man-to-man -man coverage over the middle for a one-play touchdown. That's the beauty of the split close. It's very difficult to stop, and that's the beauty of the New England Patriots offense. Now, as far as man or uh, I'm sorry, as far as zone coverage goes, uh, I just want to simply break this down for you really quickly here, and this is how this play is going to play out for you uh, when it comes to zone coverage. The beauty is once again you have to be able to smart route that X receiver. But if you can smart route the X receiver, you're going to find a lot, a lot of success on the sideline over here on this right side. Now, if you run into issues like what I just ran into, all you need to do is simply streak that circle receiver. Really the primary reason um, that we were you know, not having success on that was primarily due to the fact that we use a hitch route. Let me run that one more time and just show you. This X receiver will typically get open uh, on the sideline right there. You see I threw it just a smidge too early. What you wanna do is you just wanna wait for that corner on the right. Um, if you just simply wait for that corner on the right to get pulled back, uh, he will get pulled back. If he doesn't get pulled back, then what that typically means is that the there is a you now have a cover three bomb over the top. But basically what's going to happen here is you just wait on it, wait on it, wait on it. As you see right there, he gets pulled back, and then we can throw you know whatever we want to. Now, uh, like I said, if you want to, for whatever reason, uh, take a little bit more advantage of that corner route, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, what you want to do, just one little simple adjustment that you can make 
is to just take the circle receiver and put him on a, a streak. That's literally all you have to do. If you put that circle receiver on a streak, that corner route to the X receiver will be wide open on the sideline. You'll be able to hit that consistently. Um, that's one of the beauties of this play. But I want to shift for just a moment, and I want to talk uh, specifically about cover two. I don't talk a ton about cover two here on the channel because I find that most people have the biggest challenge beating the Mike Blitz three, which is what I spend the most time talking about. But if you're faced with a, a cover two, this X receiver will typically get over the top of those zones. As you can see on the sideline, it's over the top, and you're able to get that for about you know 30 to 40 yards that you're able to pr produce against that coverage. Another thing that you have going for you in this offense is if you want to, uh, if they want to run a lot of cover two on you, and they want to kind of sit down on some of these underneath routes, then what's going to happen is this little skinny post over the middle is going to be what kind of kind of one of your hidden little secrets that you're going to be able to have a lot of success with. Now, uh, I want to hit on Mabel coverage just for one more second, um, and I want to talk a little bit briefly here about the Mike Blitz 3, so we're going to talk about that for just a second here. And, and what we're going to do is we're going to run the same exact combination, but I just want you to watch the square receiver on this play. If I wait, for, if I wait on it long enough, I might have a little window to hit that over the top. As you see right there, I didn't end up having that, but I might have that window. So there's always a reason as to why we want to look there. Now, one of the things I haven't addressed yet is what if they put an outside quarter? So, uh, for example, what if we're facing someone that's running a lot of cover four show two? You might, um, you know, you might see somebody that likes to run cover four against, you know, pretty much anything. Cover four drop, cover four show two, any of that stuff. If they run cover four, and of course I got to throw out a sack. Uh, let me show you that one more time. If they run cover four, and I think I, I think I have it here in the three three five normal. Yeah, I do. So if they run a cover four style of defense, um, you will you will have a decent opportunity to be able to hit this square receiver at the top. That's the other, another thing that's really powerful about this. So again, there's cover four. This time he actually stayed with him, but you're able to hit your, your tight end, uh, your, your corner route. So there's a lot of kind of trade-offs to this. You're going to find a lot of consistency uh, from this play as far as how it's going to work in terms of the corner route, in terms of the hitch route uh, or the option route, I apologize. You'll see right here, if they're not running those yellow zones on both sides, that's the real beauty of the split close because you have running back on both sides. You can, in theory, have very good man and zone beaters. You're forcing them to have to play yellow zones. It plays, uh, also forcing them to have to play flat zones, you know, quick hard flats. If they're not playing hard flats, take this route to the R1 receiver every single time. It is one of the most underrated routes in the entire game. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to get my full New England Patriots offensive guide, it is available in the description. You can get that entire um, ebook. It's got trips tied in. It's got U-trips. It's got bunch. It's got spread. It's got everything you can think of. It also has a lot more detail on the split close offense. Thanks for watching this video. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up via text message. My cell phone number is 208. 218-6900. Thanks for your time. And if you want to get that ebook, it is going to be available in the description of the video.